Welcome back. Well, another big decision today for the Reserve Bank of Australia as it considers whether to cut interest rates again. It comes as a growing number of lenders are preparing to offer home loans with rates below 3%. Rate City Research Director Sally Tyndall joins us now to explain. Sally, good morning to you. Good morning. First of all, there have been two potential cuts predicted before the end of the year. What are your thoughts today? What do you think will happen? Oh, look, all eyes are on the RBA, but we're not expecting them to cut rates today. But as you say, we are expecting them to cut rates in coming months, potentially as down to as low as 0.5%. Now, what does this mean for Australians? Well, a lot of savers will be throwing up their hands in despair because savings rates are incredibly low already. But for home loan customers, a lot of them will be breathing a sigh of relief that they don't have to worry about rising interest rates for what the RBA says is the foreseeable future. You're right, though. You've got to feel for self-funded retirees. Yes, it is just do. a knock after knock for them. Um, there are already, um, as we alluded to in the intro, a few lenders already offering variable rates with a two in front of it. What are your thoughts? What's your prediction? Is that going to continue, that trend? I do think we'll see more home loan lenders offering rates starting with a two. Right now, the lowest rate on our database is 2.89%. And that's from not one, but two different lenders, Reduce Home Loans and Mortgage House. You've also got TikTok, uh, Pacific Mortgage Group, uh, Well Home Loans. They're offering rates under 3%. But a lot of people go, well... That's great, but what about banks I've actually heard of? Uh, the good news is the competition in the home lending market is incredibly fierce at the moment. So you've got banks big and small competing at the low interest loan end of the market. So you've got things like uh, ING, the fifth largest lender, offering rates as low as 3.14%. You've got uh, St George offering rates at 3.24%. Macquarie Bank, 3.24%. And if we get one, if not two more, cuts to the cash rate, we might see those lenders drop under. All right. And surely, and surely when you see figures like that, if you are with one of the big banks, it gives you leverage, doesn't it, to at least ask the question and say, what can you do? You've it, got to do better. Absolutely. Uh, the first thing you should do is check what your rate is. Mm. Uh, then you should check what your bank is offering new customers, because a lot of customers find, as loyal existing customers, that they're actually offering new customers far lower rates. Mm. And then find out what other lenders are offering, write some of them down and call your bank and ask them for a rate cut. Yep. It's as simple as that. If you don't ask, you don't get. Um, what about fixed rate loans? What do we need to know on that front? Oh, look, a lot of lenders are already pricing in a, a, like at least one rate cut with the fixed rate loans. So we've seen 28 lenders on our database already offering rates that start with the two. And they're not just small online lenders. You've got St George Bank, Bank of Melbourne, offering 2.94%. Not fixed for one year or two years, but for up to five years. That it's fixed under 3% until late 2024. Mm -hmm. Now, when and if the official rate does drop, should we expect lenders to pass on those rates and should we expect them in full? Oh, what a good question. The closer the, the cash rate gets to zero, the less likely that banks are to pass it on in full. Because when the RBA makes a cut to the cash rate, what banks typically do is pass on that cut to savers and to home loan customers. But savings rates are already very close to zero. So mm. they can't really pass on a full cut to the savings accounts and therefore may choose not to pass on that full cut to home loan customers. Banks are increasingly getting wedged with the interests of savers and borrowers and shareholders, but often it's the savers and the homeowners that get pinched the most. Yep. Well, it sounds like now is as good a time as any to switch lenders if you're not getting the right deal. Sally, we are out of time, but thank you very much. Always Thanks good for to having see you. me. All right.